Hello, most of you know who I am, Gary Baumgarten, better known here as Reporter Gary. And I've been messing around with YouTube for a little while now. And people, a lot of people actually have said, Gary, why don't you start a vlog? Just talk about things that are important to you and post it. And some people may find what you have to say interesting. So here's my first attempt at it. And I appreciate whatever feedback you may give me. First of all, a couple of ground rules. Uh, you know, I've been a reporter for 50 years. And I have, that's right, 50 years. Hard to believe, huh? 50 years. And I've seen a lot of stuff. Doesn't make me an expert on anything. But I'm a pretty good observer of the passing scene. And so I just want to make uh, several things clear. First of all, anything I say here, my personal views, has nothing to do with anybody I work for or have worked for or who I may work for in the future. Secondly, you're not going to hear any partisan arguments coming out of me. There are a couple of reasons for that. One, it's not my place as a reporter, as a journalist, in my opinion, because I'm one of those old-time journalists who dates back to when we were told to be objective and show all sides of the story as best as we can. So for that reason, I don't. Uh, secondly, I don't take a partisan view because uh, I don't have one. And why might that be? I don't take a partisan view because I don't have one. How is that possible in this climate that we have today? Well, let me explain to the uninitiated. People who have been following me online for some time probably know this, but some of you may not. I am not only a nonpartisan, I happen to be an anti-partisan. I think that the partisan political situation, the atmosphere right now here in the United States is just too divisive. And so you won't hear me taking a partisan point of view. Now, I might comment on things that are happening in the news and you may agree with me and you may disagree with me and you're more than welcome to disagree with me. I love the challenge and I love the interaction. But you're not going to see me shill for one side or the other. In fact, I hearken back to George Washington's farewell address where he warned the nation against partisan politics, saying that it would not only divide the nation, but open us up to interference from other governments. Uh, he wasn't thinking about the Russians, by the way, back then. He was probably thinking about the French, but I think he's absolutely right about that. But I'm not just going to talk about politics. I'm just going to talk about what's on my mind any given day. Could be politics. It seems to be on the top of everybody's agenda today. But it could be some of the things I see on the streets of New York. Could be some of the things I see on the streets of Detroit during my return visits to Detroit. Uh, it could be anything that just meets my fancy because after all, it's my vlog and I'm hoping that what I present to you is entertaining enough, interesting enough that you'll come along for the ride. How often will we do this? I don't know. I'd like to do it daily, but I may not have something significant to say some days. So. It just depends, I guess, on my mood and whether I have something in me to offer to you. Again, your feedback is essential to all of this. I've got a little bit of experience on this, uh, not in terms of YouTube and just pontificating. But for years and years, as many of you know, I was employed at and before that a volunteer at Pal Talk, my favorite chat program. And I've hosted chat forums all the time. And I've always allowed for multiple points of views and respect for one another has been what I've adhered to. Uh, so I'll take this out on the road a lot. I will take the camera with me and I will show you things and I will comment on some of the things that I see. I want to bring this alive. I want to make it a vibrant experience. Uh, that being said, uh, let's talk about one issue today uh, that disturbs me about news coverage. And it's not just in the United States of America. I think we find this problem internationally, and that is, quite naturally, 
news organizations report things that are of interest to their readers, viewers, listeners. And so in many cases, the coverage of stories tends to be narrowly nationalistic. Well, the internet has changed all that, in my opinion. At least it's changed the opportunity for us to look at things more globally. So when something occurs halfway around the world, it could be of interest to us where we live, our environments. It doesn't have to always be about the United States. Um, I'm saying not the United States because, of course, I'm in the United States. It doesn't have to be, if you're not in the USA, always about your country. It could be about another country. And things that happen in one country can affect circumstances in other countries. And that's something that we often fail to take the time to look at. So I'm going to talk about something totally non-controversial. I think, I hope this is non-controversial to kick things off, but it struck me today with the terrific coverage that there was on Hurricane Dorian, and obviously rightly so given the devastation visited upon much of the Bahamas as a result of Dorian holding stationary over the Bahamas for such a long period of time. And that's a story that's not going to go away. But that was in our hemisphere here. And also, it was threatening the United States. It was supposed to make landfall in the United States. At one point, in fairness to the president, it was supposed to tear across the Florida Peninsula to the Gulf of Mexico and the Gulf states, including possibly Alabama. But it didn't. The later models showed that it was going to veer, and it did veer to the north, and it managed to not cause major destruction here in the United States. But because there was a threat of that, there was a lot of coverage of Dorian. And there's still coverage of Dorian, the aftermath in the Bahamas, and I'm glad of that. But you know, there are typhoons that happen all around the world. Now I say typhoons because hurricanes in other parts of the world are referred to as typhoons or cyclones. Same phenomena, these huge storms that start over water and then destruct over land. I believe one just struck Japan not too long ago. So it was brought to my attention by a friend of mine. And you know, that's one of the cool things about Pal Talk and the internet in general. You talk to people all around the world. So one of my friends in Thailand pointed out to me that they just got hit by two tropical storms and the eastern end of Thailand was pretty devastated. Not so much by the wind, but by the flooding. And she sent me some amazing photographs, which are posted, by the way, some of them, and videos also posted on my Facebook feed which I will link to at the bottom here. And one photo really struck me. This is not the kind of photo you normally see when there is a natural disaster such as this. There is, it looks like a concrete picnic table. And there's some weary rescue workers that sat down on that concrete picnic table to, it looks like, have a lunch, take a little break. And not only are they surrounded in water, they're immersed in water up to their knees or their thighs as they sit there on the picnic table. What an amazing photograph that explains where they happen to be, how horrific the flood water is. Now, as of this recording, there are 33 people dead in Thailand. Surely not nearly the number of people deceased confirmed so far probably going to climb in the Bahamas but still 33 people dead from flooding in Thailand including one rescue worker who was swept away by the floodwaters and let me just take this moment to say not only should we be aware of natural disasters elsewhere in the world not just in our own environs we should be grateful to the people who risk their lives every day, the first responders, the rescue workers, 
And that brings me to what happened in Maine, Farmington, Maine yesterday, where there was a propane leak at a facility and the fire department responded and the propane tanks exploded, leveling the building, injuring a number of people and killing a firefighter. They put their lives on the line every day. And also, by the way, in the past overnight, an Alabama police officer responding to a report of a man with a gun firing shots, entering a house, responded to that scene, and that police officer was shot and killed as well. So, as those of you who know me know, I spent a lot of my time in this business reporting from the streets of Detroit, and I made a lot of contacts with police officers, firefighters, paramedics, EMTs. And I rode along with them. I was blessed to be invited, sometimes, oftentimes, against the regulations, into their vehicles, into the homes. I saw everything firsthand. I know what it's like. And of course, when a cop does something that a cop should not be doing, it's a story and it ought to be a story. But there are so many stories of police officers firefighters, paramedics going beyond the call of duty to help people that never get reported. Um, so I just wanted to highlight uh, those couple of issues as well. And I know I'm commingling a lot of things. It just happens to be what's on my mind today. And perhaps this is how our visits will go in the future. Perhaps they'll take another path. I will be listening to you for your comments and suggestions as we go along. I'm going to try to keep them short so uh, you don't get bored. And so I'm going to cut off now. But I please ask you to subscribe and uh, hit the bell, the little alarm bell, so that you'll be notified each time I post. Uh, please give me feedback either in the comments here, or you may write me at reportergary at gmail, reportergary at gmail.com. I'll link that below as well. And I am told, even though I'm a neophyte at this, but I've researched it, that the more thumbs up you get, the better placement your video gets. So if you like me, give me a thumbs up. If you hate me, all right, give me a thumbs down. And as I used to say all the time on Pal Talk when I was working there, and I still say on Pal Talk even though I'm not working there when I participate, at the end of my chats there, I think I'll end the chats with you here on YouTube the same way. Peace out.